Hey guys, welcome to this new video. It's probably one of the last videos I'm doing here in this house because indeed, in case you didn't know, I'm going to move and I'm speaking in real life, not in the Elder Scroll Online. However, regarding the Elder Scroll Online, yes, I'm going to speak to you about Homestead and telling you why I'm so excited and happy about it. So today, Zenimax has announced Homestead that will be the next update released in February 2017 and those that like me are playing on PC or Mac can test it on the PTS in January. So that will be very exciting and stay tuned because on this channel I will probably share with you a lot of stuff regarding housing. I'm really excited about that. It's a long time that the whole ES community is awaiting for the housing system. And I must say that Zenimax is really not being disappointing here. It is. I believe they are bringing everything that all players wanted and wished for. In this video, I will not take the time to explain you in every detail the system of housing that will be implemented. For that, watch my video ESA News that I will record this weekend and publish next week. But I just want to share my happy surprise because Zenimax has surprised me here in a very positive way. First of all, I knew that the housing system will be good, but I was hoping for some feature that will be implemented and I'm really, really happy about that. First of all, the housing system will be tied to every aspect of the game. So that means that you're doing this or this or that in the game, it will have some sort of relation with the housing system, which is exactly what the housing system should be when you have a house in a game you want to decorate it with items that you find in dungeons, you want to decorate it with items that you craft, you want to make it special, etc. So, first of all, good surprise, if you want to purchase a house in a zone, may it be a small house, a medium house or a large house, not only you need the money for it, but also you need to accomplish certain achievements in that zone. So we do not know what it is, but I can expect maybe it will be all quests done in that, or all exploration done in that area. Um, so I think it's very good because it will give, especially since one time is open, it will give players the motivation to finish and clear out the zone to be able to purchase the house of their dream. So that's very, very good. And if you want to purchase many houses, you will have to play the game. You will just have to play the game. Second, excellent, there will be items that drop in Veteran Dungeon, Veteran Arena and Veteran Trial. And that's excellent. Once again, it rewards players that play the game, they, they can put some trophy in their home and show off to everyone what they are doing in the game. So this is really, really good. Third, good surprise, there will be a merchant that will sell furniture related to achievements. So more you have played the game, more you have accomplished certain achievements that will unlock certain furniture. Once more, it rewards the players that play the game or it motivates the players to clear certain part of the game that maybe they would have neglected otherwise. So it gives a great incentive for players to play the game. Fourth good surprise is the luxury merchant. For a lot of gold, they will sell very expensive item that will be uh, released and rotated every week. <laughs> it's a bit like the merchant in Cyrodiil. Fifth good surprise, it will not be released with Homestead, but they are working on their gardening and farming system, so you will be able to uh, garden your own plants and that's something that a lot of players wanted I was hoping for that it will not be ready for February but this is something that they want to do so that's a very very good news I was very happy to, to read about it. something else I'm very happy about it's the crafting system so there will not be a new crafting like architect but every craft will be able to craft some furniture and of course you have a combination of different crafts which will give you a good incentive to level up all crafts on one character to be sure to be able to do every furniture. So this is another way to push players, to motivate players to play the game or to reward players that are really invested in the game. Excellent! It's only good news, it's really really great! 
I'm very happy about the fact that you can decorate your house inside and outside and very happy that um, crafting like cooking is not forgotten you will be able to craft your food other things that are really nice is that you will be able to place your mount, to you place your pets, to place your assistant, to have crafting station in your home, and you will also have target dummies. So it's a skeleton, and you can test your build and your DPS and everything. On those uh, players will be so happy about that. Regarding the crown store, I think it's a very good news that there will be element that will be sold in the crown store, including some very rare very fancy property so that's great for the people that want to invest in the game or that have the money to share and to purchase the dream island it will also give the possibilities to Zenimax to produce uh, some very new and nice item to be sold in the crown store and I'm fine with that I'm not fine with the crown crate but that I'm o okay with that and I'm okay with it because you have so much content in the game itself you do not need to use your crown on it so you're not forced to use crown you can enjoy fully uh, the housing system without um, spending a cent and, and that's just great so you have a good balance between those two uh, sides they could have put everything in the crown store so I'm really happily surprised for that they have said that they will not have any house in the DLC zone for now, but maybe in future they will add some. So that's also, again, it's fair for the players that have the base game. It doesn't force them to purchase any of the DLC. So it's very correct and I'm very happy about it. So, uh, all in all, only very, very good news. And I'm very excited about the housing system. Uh, be sure to follow my channel to have more news regarding this in January. Also, if you are interested with the other things I'm doing, I've started a new series called What to do in One Time Real and I've published the first episode which is related to story. And if you want to relax, if you need some help to fall asleep, I have also a series of videos that are ISMR relaxation. If you're interested, please watch those as well. So that was a self-promotion time. Okay. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you a very, very, very great week. Take care of yourself. Be happy. And see you soon. Bye.